Recording in progress. In-person questions for Al. Al, first off, can you take us through that final defensive possession? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Embiid set a great screen on, on Jalen. And uh, it was one of those things that, you know, it's the end of the game. I didn't want to switch it, but it was such a good screen that, I, you know, we had to. So um, once we switched it, you know, I just wanted to make sure that, that you know, that I put pressure on the ball um, and, uh, and, you know, just kind of get the clock going and, uh, uh, you know, rush them a little bit. And, and uh, Rob made a great play, you know, with the block. Why? I mean, the double big lineups were an issue for this team last season. It, it's completely different this year. Why do you and Rob work so well together? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, Rob is a very smart player. He knows how to play. He knows kind of how to find his way, you know, on the court. And, um, and, and you know, I, I feel like he's just very easy to play with. Um, and, and I think my ability to be able to stretch the floor, shoot threes, um, and, uh, and be in different positions, I think it just helps. You know, I, I, I think that's the way that we're able to play together. So um, I don't know last year, you know, who the other bigs were, but, well, you know, Tice, Tom, some of those guys, and then they can, but at the end of the day, like, I feel like I'm very comfortable in, the, in, in those roles and, and playing with him, playing at the five if I need to, um, you know, that's part of the reason why, you know, why I'm here. So. What were the emotions for you coming into this game, considering everything that happened in Philly? Um, it, it was just a win. It was just to win the game, and, and it felt really good for us to get this win um, um, tonight. It, it was a grind, but there's no question that, you know, uh, it's already been, you know, kind of like a full season, but, you know, my whole mindset was just win this game. It doesn't matter, you know, at what cost, you know, we got to come out and win the game. And then how much pride do you take from the fact that you did it defensively? Uh, it feels good. It feels good. I mean, you know, we have to go back and see offensively how we can be, you know, just, just better, just a little better. Um, but defensively, yeah, it, it feels good to grind it out and and uh, and be able to to pull games out like this. You know, it's hard to, you know, there's no like linear progress. Every game is just better than the last one. But you have a game like San Antonio where problematic same same old issues and you go against Toronto and you are moving the ball a lot and then against Philly you kind of revert back to some of the other stuff I mean we've talked about that before but I mean is, is there just some level of frustration I mean how do you guys keep that mindset of okay let's just keep moving forward and and put something like this behind you uh you can't put it behind you you know we have to continue to acknowledge it and and we understand that it's you know that it's a process um, it's hard um, because, you know, we, we see the potential, how we can play, how it looks. And then, you know, we, we have some setbacks. So, you know, it, it's, it's something that as a group, we have to continue to work. We have to continue to trust it. And, um, you know, we'll see where we're at at the end of these kind of 10 game stretch. Um, but yeah, to your point, I mean, it, it's definitely difficult, you know, when, when it's, you know, up and down like that, we want to be more consistent, you know, being able to, move the ball more consistently, doing certain things. Um, that's something, you know, that we have to keep working on. He may says, like, I'm not going to apologize for an ugly win because those happen. I mean, like, from the outside, people get really caught up in, in like, to really react to single game things. From the inside, what is that mentality when you also see the up and ups and downs, but you also have that mentality of, hey, ugly win, whatever win we're going to take? You have to, um, you know, uh, Winning and, and we talked about this, you know, a few games ago early on. Winning is hard, and and uh, and even though that we've been in positions uh, and we've been successful here before, you know, this this is a new group, and we have to you know get it together, and we have to understand how we need to play in order to win games. Um, so uh, we'll take those and 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 continue to build. You know, that's the only thing we can do: continue to work and get better and, and understand that. You know, in order for us to be great, you know, we, we have to, you know, be better offensively, no question. I know you say you want to treat this as just another game, but considering your history with these guys, is there a little something extra? No question. No, yeah, yeah, no, I wouldn't say another game. I mean, I, I you know, it was definitely, 
definitely a good win. Um, good feeling. Um, you know, um, uh, just just with everything. Um, you know, this was a game that was important, and it's early December, obviously, but you know, it was a good win, and I'm I'm very happy about it. I hate to forget the Philadelphia thing again, but a couple of years ago, you know, you, you left, you thought it would be great to play next to MB, to have a chance at a championship, just kind of be in the mix. And then a year later, you get traded to kind of basketball Siberia, with Oklahoma City, and you're around a bunch of kids. I mean, did you doubt anything about the decision yourself during that time? What was that time away like when you're playing for a team that's just trying to like literally grow? But now, obviously, you're now in a better situation. I mean, what was that kind of time when the thing in Philly didn't work to where you got to Boston like? Yeah, um, you know, I'm, I'm very, very grateful because, you know, my faith kind of um, kept me strong um, through all that time. And, um, and it, was, uh, it was a very low point for me at the beginning when it all went down, um, looking at, you know, having to go to Oklahoma City, what now with me, my 14th year. Um, but, um, uh, you know, I really looked at it at that point as, you know, there's an opportunity for me to, to get better, to prove myself uh, and to prove to people what I can do. Um, uh, you know, that year was, was a difficult year for me in Philly. Uh, there's no question about it. And, and, and for me it was like, you know, I can either kind of cave in or I can make the most out of this opportunity. And, um, and in OKC, you know, they welcomed me with open arms, um, you know, really helped me um, uh, you know, on, on the court, off the court, just getting everything together and put me in a position to be able to be here um, again. So, you know, uh, once this opportunity came, I was, you know, very grateful. But, um, but, but yeah, yeah, there's no question about it. That, uh, there's also, you know, a lot of satisfaction of being back here and, and being playing at a high level. You feel like your reputation took a hit? Yeah, yeah, no question. No question about it. Uh, obviously, it's it's everything on me. You know, it was my decision, my decision to leave. You know, do all these things, and um, and it was like, how are you going to respond? You know, after you've been faced with with adversity, being down, being talked down about, and and all these things, and it's a reality. Um, you know, you have to put results. You have to do certain things, and um and and I didn't do that, and and yeah, I'm sure. You know, I, I was written off, and I, I'm just glad that I, I got another opportunity in a place where I want to be. We'll wrap it up right there. Thank you, Al. Thank you.